Slightly more impressive than the Pistons winning a game last night was the man who led the way. Jaden Ivey had 37 points and a double digit win in Sacramento last night. 13 of 23 shooting, five of seven on three, six rebounds, seven assists. It was probably the best performance of his career. And I center this video on this performance, not to come at you with some overarching conclusion on what I think Jaden Ivey is gonna become in his career, but I just think this performance and the potential it showcases from Jaden Ivey, it really makes you laugh about how the Pistons have handled him this season. He's the fifth pick in the 2022 draft, comes in, starts 73 games, 31 minutes a night, solid numbers, raw numbers, like not such great efficiency, but again, that's what you expect from a rookie. And obviously progress isn't always linear, but you would definitely expected Ivy to take a step as a sophomore. If nothing else, you expected the Pistons to give him the opportunity to take a step as a sophomore. And for whatever reason, that just didn't happen. Monty Williams just seemed to not really like Jaden Ivy, and it didn't make sense for a number of reasons because it's not like the Pistons had better options, and it's not like those options might have seemed worse, but were helping the Pistons win games. Jaden Ivy was averaging under 24 minutes a night to start the season. It was just uh, you you couldn't really justify it in any sense of the word because if you're the Pistons, you're a rebuilding team and rebuilding teams like to see what they have. They like to give the stage for young guys to develop and Monty Williams just wasn't doing that. And it just, uh, and if you're the Pistons and you just spent a top five pick on the guy literally two drafts ago, like don't you wanna see a return on investment? Like a very basic principle of, we spent a lot on this guy, you know, whether he becomes an all-star or becomes a bust, we need to give him the opportunity to see what he becomes. If nothing else, then to just say, we did everything our power to get as much return on investment as possible. That's just a very basic principle that they didn't really seem to get. And it was laughably frustrating because as we saw against Sacramento and as we've seen in the month of February, where over three games, Jaden Ivey is averaging over 27 points, five rebounds, four assists, shooting above 50% from the field, and even more impressively, above 50% from three. This dude is really, really good. And again, that's not to say, hey, I think he's gonna be an all-star. It's not even to say, hey, I think this dude is going to be a perfect fit next to Cade Cunningham. Especially when you consider that this team isn't really playing for much. You gotta give your best young guys opportunity because, you know, yes, I understand that there is something to be said about earning your minutes, but I'm also of the belief that like the best way to improve as a player is to get those real tangible minutes, like practice and film, like that stuff can only make you so better. You need to give guys real run. And finally, it seems like Monty Williams is doing that. Again, not in a way that's going to have me tell you what Jaden Ivey is going to become, because at the end of the day, we don't really know how someone's career is gonna progress. Progress isn't always linear, but just in a way that says, okay, we're doing right by him. We're doing right by our rebuild. And hey, yeah, we're not crazy to think that this guy is actually talented and can be a part of our future because as he's showing, there's a very high likelihood that he can be. 